Hello and welcome along, my name is Azavar or Azza, and in this video we're going to take a look at the story of the Black Knight in Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Now the Black Knight story is a little bit sad and emotional so brace yourselves for that before we get into it. Also I have to mention there'll be spoilers in this video as we explore the story. Have you heard of the Black Knight? They say he's on a journey to master the art of combat. Few these days ever set out to better themselves. You would do well to master something before your journey ends. Hello there. How is everything with you? We ran into the Black Knight, you see. I've always wanted to see how strong a warrior he really is, so I challenged him. He fought with nothing as disciplined as swordsmanship. He just lunged at us wildly while shouting something. It was like a great storm, terrible and full of wrath. Should you ever see the Black Knight on your travels, stay as far from him as you can. Listen up. Our next job is... Oh, that's a good one. You're the best, boss. Whoa, when did you get here? Dropping. You're quite talented. Hey, whose side are you on? Vengeance? Murder? Not us. We don't do dirty work. That's right. Killing is so cowardly. No, you fool. All we care about is treasure. Most of the time, that means food. Quiet. At any rate, we don't take lives. After all, you can't make money killing people. If lives were worth something, I'd sell my own right away. Killing people to take their money leaves a bad aftertaste. Don't know where you heard that, but tell them not to spread such ugly rumors. Apparently, Mars Pass's caravan was attacked by the Black Knight. I felt compelled to find out more about this Black Knight. It seems that he's a warrior traveling alone without a caravan. Fortunately, most people who met the Black Knight remembered him. Word of his exploits first began to spread several years ago. A preacher named Hurdy hired him for protection, perhaps after hearing those rumors. Some cited the Preacher and the Black Knight setting up camp, deep in the wetlands. Later, the pair headed further in. That was the last anyone saw of them for some time. The other day, I asked Hurdy himself about that story, but he claimed to have no memory of it. There's a boy who says he wants revenge on the Black Knight for his father's death. Perhaps the Preacher prefers to avoid association with such a man, even one from long ago. I could learn no more of the Black Knight. In the end, he remained an enigma. Why, you... Stop eating my memories! What are you looking at? Wait! Come back! Oh, a caravan. Don't look at me like that. I still won't give up. In the end, I saw a light. And then, all was dark. I can't remember what I loved or what I hated. I remember nothing at all. But someday, I will reclaim my memories from that light. So, don't look at me that way. It isn't over yet. I'm not completely hollow. You're not getting away this time!
What? What? Uh, no. Not yet. Not without my memories. I will die a hollow man. Where will my spirit go? Is this the end? Light, answer me. I'm no light. My name is Leon Esla. Leon Esla? L Leon? Yes. I found it, Leon Esla. My memory. And Jonah, my... I'm sorry. I didn't want it to end this way. As long as people live, Ryan will make them suffer. Oh, Keepers of the Crystal, what must I do? So, we're led to believe that the Black Knight is actually the father of Leon Esler. There's a character mentioned here called Ryan, who is a metaphysical monster that feasts on the memories of suffering and despair. It was Ryan who actually stole the Black Knight's memories and is responsible for the events leading to the Black Knight's death. If you return to Alpha Taria after these events, you can speak with Leon Esler for some bonus dialogue. He mentions that he keeps the Black Knight's armor and whenever his mother looks at it, she would cry. It's a bit of a sad story, but I feel like it adds a lot of emotional depth to the game. We've also got a four player couch co-op Let's Play up on the YouTube channel. That's played on the 2003 version of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, played locally with Game Boy Advances linked into the GameCube. You can find that linked at the end of the video and down in the video description. Since you're here, I'm assuming that you might enjoy video games. Well, as it happens, I also enjoy video games and so does the Azovar Army. Feel free to come and hang out during one of our live streams over on Twitch TV. We've also got an Azovar Army Discord, links to those are down below, so hopefully see you there. Hopefully you enjoyed learning about the Black Knight story. If you did, feel free to give this video a like. You can leave your thoughts in the comments section of this video. Let me know if you want to see any more of this kind of thing. If you enjoy the content on the channel, feel free to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care. Oh my good friend.